coming back to the podcast then, James, um, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, as I've said. Um, first thing I'm going to lead with is your fun fact for the day. Some people take that as a, as a personal thing and, and kind of relay some of the other... We had our arena on a couple of weeks back and managed to use, use super glue on her mouth instead of some Vaseline for her lips or something. I, I can't quite remember. That was, that was an interesting uh, admission, which I think she regretted in the end, to be fair to her. Yours is much more business related. I'll spare your audience some of my disasters. Mine, I think, is really relevant to this. It's just the it's statistics someone showed me ages ago from, I believe it was, Sheffield University did some research. Certainly a Northern English University, which is if you're someone that can highlight a problem, to a prospect, there's an 80% chance that you can be the person to win that business. And I think that actually going out there and quite happily, but going, actually, look, here's what you probably didn't know. And here's what something that's different are really backing yourself. That's yeah. You highlight that issue for someone, an 80% chance that you basically become the trusted advisor and help them solve that. I think it's very pertinent and who knows might come up again in the next 15 minutes. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it, it sounds like something that you, I'm guessing you've grasped onto it because it's something that you hold close and dear to you as well. Like it's, and it's worked for you in the past. So be interested to cover that up a little bit. I, I, if I remember a quote that I, I was told when I started selling SaaS software about four or five years ago, it was along the lines that the more senior you get to in terms of who you need to pitch a product to or a service to, the more job you need to do to highlight to, to, to time of what you said, you need to highlight something new to them. They probably already know all the problems that are in the marketplace that are commonplace that most people try and solve. But if you highlight something brand new to them, that's how you sell to certainly C-suite, director level and CEOs of businesses. So I, I think that ties in quite nicely with what you said. And, Certainly something I've experienced. Oh, I, 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 absolutely, Paul. Absolutely. It's, um, to your point, you actually, if you're turning up something new, it's getting them to stop in their tracks and think differently. And ultimately, that means that if you're selling to somebody lower down that purchasing food chain, um, somebody on the technical, if it's SaaS software or an engineering manager in a factory, it's arming them with that. To go and take so they can get their boss's attention with, Hey boss, did you know that we're losing this much money over here? The, uh, just get, getting people to think different because then you've got their attention. You can engage and you can, you can enthuse about something in a different way because you've got their undivided attention rather than, yeah, sounding, sounding like the same thing they've heard 10 times in the last month. 